Hi friends and welcome back to another lesson with me. Remember we spoke about voornaam woorde. What is a voornaam woord? Let's go to the bottom here so I can show you how to break it down again. That is a voor naam woord. Woorde. Voor naam woorde. Wat is voor naam woorde? That's right. Voor naam woorde is pronouns. Which means it replaces a noun. So instead of saying Stacy went to the shop, you can say she went to the shop. Instead of saying Ben took a jog, you can say he took a jog. Instead of saying it was Ben's ball, you can say it was his ball. So that's exactly what a four noun word is. Now, we were looking at besiklike voornaam woorde, which is pronouns that so position, so something belongs to me. Um, I read a book. The book is mine. Uh, she ate an apple. The apple is hers. Those are some examples of besiklike voornaam woorde. So today what we're doing is we're just extending our lesson so that I can help you understand it a little bit better. What we're doing is we are going to be matching the English with the Afrikaans. Are you ready? Awesome. Let's get started. So our first word is I, mine, you, his, yours, and her. Then our second column is Sai, Yona, Maina, Har, Ek, and Yo. Awesome. So let's look at our first word I. What does I mean in Afrikaans? Is that say? Is that yona? Is that meina? Is that haar? Is that ik? Of is that yo? What does I mean in Afrikaans? That's right, ik. So we're gonna join I with ik. So next time you're trying to say I in Afrikaans, what are we gonna use? Ik, awesome. Let's move on to our second one, mine. What do you think mine is in Afrikaans? Is that say? Is that jona? Is that meina? Is that haar? Of is that yo? What does mine mean in Afrikaans? That's right. Mine. Mine means mine. So we're gonna join. And remember what I told you about mine. The only difference is that. Mine is spelled with an I and Mena is spelled with a Y. So it's pronounced differently, so that means we say it differently and it is spelled just a little bit differently. Okay, let's move on to our next word, you. What does you mean in Afrikaans? Is that say? Is that yona? Is that har? Of? Is that yo? What does you mean in Afrikaans?
That's right, yom. Do you think that that is right? If, but let's carry on. There is a word out of all of these words that we have here on both sides that is not correct. But we'll find out which one of those words it is when we reach the end of all our words. Let's take our next word, his. What is his in Afrikaans? Is that say? Is that yona? Of? Is that har? What is his in Afrikaans? That's right, say. So we're gonna match his with say. Last two guys, now we have yours. What is yours in Afrikaans? Is that yona or is that har? Which of these two words means yours in Afrikaans? That's right, that does yona. The S is basically the N-E. While the R-S is basically the N-E. Awesome. Now we have her. What does her mean in Afrikaans? And we only have one more word left on the side. So what do you think it is? That's right. Har. So we're going to match her and har. Now we've reached the end of our words. There is one word that is incorrect. Let's have a look and see what it is. I have a slight suspicion which word it is. Is it I? Ik? No. Is it mine? Meine? No. Is it his? Say? No. Is it hers? Har? No. So what do you think it is? Let's have a careful look. Yours and Yona. As you can see, the RS is NE in Yona and yours. Then we have Yo and you. This is the one that's wrong because Yo means your so what does you mean what do you think is you if yo is yours that's right that does yay yay is you, Yona is yours, and just for fun sake, let's add your here, which is yo. So once it yay, yo, Yona, yay, hit the book, you have a book, the book is yo book, it is your book, the book is Yona, the book is yours awesome guys thank you so much for joining me on this exercise with four naam see you again next time bye